Welcome to the DMX OMF tutorial series. In this installment, we'll be reviewing the process for building a kit. Often, clients need the ability to group multiple products together into a kit or set of similar products so that the ordering process can be simplified. DMX OMF makes kit building a straightforward process that allows for quick setup, on-the-fly options, and specific packaging instructions. Through the left-hand navigation, we'll access the Warehouse module, click on Inventory Management, and then Kit Setup to access the Kit Management page. What we'll first need to do is select the parent part, which is the inventory part number assigned to the kit itself. So we'll click on Search All Products, and we'll look at this familiar search page where we can search either by product code or keyword. We'll go ahead and search for a kit and the product code and select number 5 down here. We'll then be taken to the Kit Management page. And you can see here that you can actually read the parent attributes assigned to this parent part. So you've got the product ID, the parent product code, as well as the revision, the product name, if there's any state restrictions assigned to this kit, what cost is associated with assembling the kit, the parent build type designation. You can see that this is set for build on demand whether there's an admin approval required, whether admins only can order, and if it's back orderable. And you can see that this kit actually already has three parts assigned to it. You've got the supplement, the welcome letter, and a folder. The current kit structure section also tells you information about the individual pieces assigned to the kit, such as the quantity within the kit, the unit of measure, packing instructions, as well as if the product is mandatory or disregardable within the kit itself, the effect of from date, so when the part needs to be added to the kit, as well as if you want to add a cancellation date, whether or not approval is required, an admin only can order it, or if it's back orderable. You can actually drill into each individual part from this section as well. You can see again at the top you've got the parent part attributes we saw on the last screen, as well as the child part attributes. And then here you can define the relationships, so we've got a quantity of one per the kit, you can select individual packing instructions as well as change the dependency. So I'll go ahead and change it to mandatory here and click on submit. And you can see when we go back to the kit management page that the dependency has now been changed to mandatory for the supplement, meaning that the kit cannot be shipped unless the supplement is available. So to add a part, we're going to go ahead and search again up here for a product code. Click on go and you can see here's a prospectus. So we're going to click on this to go ahead and define the relationship for the prospectus to the kit itself. So we're going to have one in each kit. Go ahead and put it in that open spot for the uh, right pocket, position one. I want this to be mandatory. And we're going to go ahead and say that today is the first date it's going to be effective. And we're going to click Submit. And you can see now that that Lakeside Prospectus has been added to the kit itself. That's really all there is to kit setup within the DMX OMF system. You can see that this provides a quick and easy way to improve the ordering process and ensure that the right items are delivered to the people that need them. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website or call us today.